Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Channel 10 was thrown into chaos on Wednesday night when a fire alarm caused the sudden cancellation of the project's broadcast. But the dramatic incident is not the first disaster to befall the network's news panel show. Many recent controversies, gaffes, and awkward moments might have some people believing the long-running program is cursed. On Wednesday, viewers at home were left scratching their heads at 6.49 p.m. when the news show hosted by Walid Ali, Sarah Harris, and Sam Taunton suddenly vanished from screens during its ad break. It was replaced with an episode of The Doghouse Australia. Due to unforeseen circumstances, please enjoy this screening of The Doghouse, the vague text read. It wasn't long before the project's feed on X, formerly known as Twitter, lit up. Is there a blackout in the studio? asked one bamboozled viewer. Unforeseen circumstances? A bit more explanation deserved. Broken camera? Medical episode demanded another, before someone else questioned, did you lose power? WTF just happened? Your show just vanished. Now I am looking at a dog adoption show, commented another. A post shared to X by the program revealed a fire alarm was set off in the studio, bringing the show to a grinding halt and forcing its presenters and crew to evacuate the Como Center in South Yara where the show is filmed. Another recent disaster was the train wreck interview as a guest launched into an expletive-laden rant about pandas. Chinese-born Australian journalist and writer Vicky Su appeared on the program in June to discuss Chinese Premier Li Cheng's current visit in Australia and his recent announcement of a panda swap at Adelaide Zoo. Ms. Su was asked by panelist Sam Taunton if she was excited about Adelaide Zoo getting new pandas. I think, no, I am not. I am not, Ms. Su admitted. I think pandas they're too lazy to f asterisk 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 and to the point that they're going extinct. And and look, look at me this outfit. I am so much cuter than those giant fat, not f asterisk 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 ing pandas, she added. Miss Sue's comment was met with shock and laughter by the project hosts. The project later received backlash online, with social media commenters calling the segment cringeworthy and sarcastically calling the program a very normal show. In February last year, the program also courted controversy when gay comedian Ruben K made an X-rated joke about Jesus Christ live on air. I love Jesus, I love any man who can get nailed for three days straight and come back for more, K joked. His line left Walid Ali speechless, but Sarah Harris and the rest of the cast laughed along with gay comedian's joke. However, the controversial quip sparked a furious reaction online with many saying the gag went too far. The panel show has also undergone an audience decline ever since changing up its format. The ratings woes coincide with growing criticism of the project's left-wing bias and departures of several high-profile hosts, including Carrie Bickmore, Peter Hellier, and Lisa Wilkinson. The show relaunched last year with a new panel comprising Sarah Harris, Sam Taunton, Michael Hing, and long-serving anchor Walid Ali. But recent reports suggest Harris is struggling with the grueling weekly commute from Sydney to Melbourne as the talk show's revamp lineup fails to fire up. Insiders at Channel 10 told Daily Mail Australia the novelty of travelling to Melbourne, where the project is taped from Sunday to Thursday, is wearing off a bit for Harris, a single mum with two young children. The former Studio 10 host joined the project after the shock departures of Bickmore, Hellier and Wilkinson at the end of 2022. The panel show's cost may also be an issue, with 10 recently began a round of cost-cutting, axing both The Masked Singer and The Bachelors. The future of the embattled network, owned by Paramount Global, is uncertain as it continues to bleed television shows amid sliding ratings and an ad revenue crisis, as news.com.au has reported. In May, Dave Hughes and Osher Gunsberg publicly confirmed two of Channel 10's biggest reality TV shows, The Masked Singer and The Bachelor, have been axed from the network, who is in possible merger talks. This has led to speculation that the project might be on the chopping block next, however the network has continually denied the show will be cancelled anytime soon.